In this video, we're going to look at how we can multiply radicals together. As we multiply radicals, the product rule tells us that we can multiply the coefficients outside of the radicals, and we can multiply what is inside the radicals together. So in this first example, we have negative 5 times the square root of 14 times 4 times the square root of 6. We can multiply the parts that are outside the radical, the coefficients, negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. And then inside the radical, we can multiply those parts together also, 14 times 6. 14 times 6 is 84. Of course, no answer is final until it's been simplified, so let's factor 84. We might see it's divisible by 4 and 21. 4 is divisible by 2 and 2 and 21 by 3 and 7. We do end up with a match of 2's, so we can pull a 2 out, negative 20's already outside, times 2, and under the square root, 3 times 7 is 21. Finish the problem by multiplying to get negative 40 times the square root of 21. Let's try another example where we multiply radicals together by multiplying what's outside and inside together, and then simplifying the radical. Here we have 2 times the cube root of 18 times 6 times the cube root of 15. Again, we will multiply the parts outside the radical, the coefficients, 2 times 6 is 12, and then inside the cube root, we will multiply the 18 times 15. When we do 18 times 15, we get 270. Again, with 270, we want to factor it to see if we can reduce the radical. We can see 270 is divisible by 27 and 10. 27 is 3 times 9. 10 is 2 times 5. And we can factor the 9 farther to 3 times 3. Because we have an index of 3, we're looking for triplets to pull out. And we have a triplet of 3's. 12 is already in front. The 3 we're pulling out of the cube root, and then the 2 times 5, or 10, is left inside. Multiplying the 12 times 3 gives us 36 times the cube root of 10. When we're multiplying radicals, what we will always do is multiply the outside parts, or coefficients, and then the parts under the radical together. Afterwards, we always make sure we simplify our radicals.